in Uganda, we lose so many women and babies during the time of birth. One of the key interventions that WHO recommends is actually doing ultrasound early in pregnancy. So in this project, we wanted to see how ultrasound can be taken to the most remote areas of Uganda. And uh, so what we did, we went to Luoka district and uh, identified 55 community health workers or what we call a village team member. These identified pregnant women and then they referred these to the rural health centers. At these health centers, we trained midwives uh, who worked in collaboration with the radiologist to do ultrasound for women early in pregnancy or late in pregnancy. We did scan 314 women. Of these women, about 73% actually came in the first 28 weeks of pregnancy. And then about 32% had some form of uh, abnormality, mostly abnormal eye. And uh, in the general, over 90% of the women found that doing ultrasound in the community was acceptable. Uh, it is just a few, around 11%, uh, who had some concerns. So in general, we find that ultrasound was, is it is possible to reach early pregnancy, and also it is possible to do it later in pregnancy and to do it in the community and can be done by midwives. Um, Margaret Ndichumu is a midwife working in Chiunga Health Center 4. Before the project came in, we were having many mothers whom we were referring out. But when the project came in, they helped us to bring us even a scan. We were just referring them out to the nearby district where the scan was. But then the project brought us a scan. It was a free scan. The numbers of antenatal mothers also increased. It helped us to diagnose many cases and there was an increase in the number of mothers. The project also trained health workers in how to use the scan and these health workers were mainly for scanning. They used to come, meet the mothers and scan them. Instead of referring the mothers outside, all mothers were being scanned here at the facility, which really made an increase of mothers to come and seek for medical services here at our facility. My name is Peter Banamuga Kati sawe no sobolo tegero mwana bwaye mereire ye chikamunda mulunji eri yonga baba na bana babiri gatukano za lozira na ngozi aye gaza ala bana babiri engo bairo subire chi mwana mulala due to this training the health facility was inspired to buy its own scan i also give my thanks to the Makerere University for this project and also thank the government of Uganda that really allowed this project to come to our region. And I say that this project should be expanded outside other facilities so that, that all our mothers can be served. Chirunji Askani, Sobolo Kobera Antimuna, Olimu Abana Babiri, Chiaku Echi Sera, Wajawa Yongera Kuobugozi, Oba, Olimu Omana Mulala, Yeti Muterevu, Obanga bayi renga bakulongo osa bakukobera mangu nge chisera chikali wetereza wajoza lango mwana akoze chi atuke inenga yo bamuzala era nze ndi musanufino kubaze na ndi rubutaye nakenze mbone ebwe nemereire ayengoli ezirawo mbere gasindikibwe iganga nga Luis na akasente ka transport kazirawo we would like to acknowledge the support we received from the government of Uganda that was funding the Research Innovation Fund of Mackay University, but also the Peter Ambas Initiative Project of Mackay University and the University of California in San Francisco that provided the ultrasound machines. Those, that project, the Peter Ambas Initiative, was funded by the Gates Foundation. Thank you so much.